PR2 and Ross as platforms are designed to bring the community together. For the community to move towards personal robotics applications, we believe it is instrumental that the best innovators from research and industry work together on a common platform. To that end, I would like to highlight two of the universities and one of the companies in the Ross community. In recent months, Brown University has become a center of part of the Ross community. They released drivers for the Aldebron Now robot, humanoid robot, and within days, members of the community at the University of Freiburg expanded the Now driver to include odometry and teleoperation functionality. The folks at Brown also released drivers for the iRobot Create, which is being expanded on at the Colorado University to support an arm, where it is now being used as a teaching platform in their robotics courses. In the words of Chad Jenkins, a professor at Brown University, publishing our Ross code as well as research papers is now an integral part of disseminating our work. Ross provides the best means forward for enabling robotics researchers to share their results and more rapidly advance the state of the art. <laughs> Professor Inaba and Dr. Okada of the University of Tokyo and a few of their students spent a week at Willow Garage on the PR2. In Dr. Okada's words, the PR2 is a very sturdy platform. It will enable computer science and vision researchers to focus on robotic software without worrying about their robot breaking. A few months after their visit to Willow Garage, we met the folks from University of Tokyo at a conference in Kobe and helped them get the Ross navigation stack running on their Kawada robot. This is what Professor Inaba had to say about the benefits of Ross on their robot. Ross has many capabilities we need like navigation and sensor data logging. It was easy for us to link the code that we have been developing for years into the Ross framework and take advantage of this functionality. Bosch's personal robotics group was the first commercial company after Willow Garage to begin contributing open source Ross software. This is also the first time that Bosch has ever contributed to an open source project. Bosch released code that takes video and laser data from a robot, constructs 3D environment from this laser data, fits a surface to that model, and then maps camera data to the surface model. In the words of Charles de Hutaway, one of, Ross, one of Bosch's Ross developers, we contribute to Ross because Ross has the potential to accelerate the development of robotics in general and robotics technology for Bosch products. Being an active contributor to Ross and using Ross will help us play a role in developing the service robotics market and understand the technology needs. Brown University the University of Tokyo and Bosch are just a few examples of how Ross use is starting to take off. The Ross community is building a future where developers can build innovative applications on open hardware and software platforms. We are following in the footsteps of the successful industries built on open platforms, like the computer industry, like the internet, and like the smartphone industry. These industries are driven by ecosystems of application developers that can only exist with open platforms. So this presentation, we hope, is a call to action. As a company or individual, do what you do best. If you specialize in hardware, build open hardware platforms like PR2 that support innovation. If you specialize in software, join the growing Ross community by developing device drivers, tools, or algorithms. Or go after an application and build a business. I invite all of you to download Ross code and check out the tutorials and documentation at ross.org. You will also be able to follow our work 
and get more information on the PR2 robot at willowgarage.com. Also, please stop by our booth on the IREX floor for some live demos of some of the ROS functionality I have talked about in this presentation. Thank you for the opportunity to present the work of the open source ROS community and the amazing researchers and engineers at Willow Garage. Thank you. Thank you.